Oh guys, it's officially coming down now. These climbs are strenuous. That was a heck of a haul and a lot of bushwhackings. <laughs> so I see a mean cloud up there. Looks like I'm about to walk straight towards it. I think my tent has about seen its day. Good morning! We are day 27 on this CDT and it rained all night long. And unfortunately, the bottom of my tent is actually seeping through a little bit. I think my tent has about seen its day. So we're going to ride this out a little bit longer. I'm going to try to get packed up. It is so cold. And with everything being so wet, it's a little bit difficult. But my next plan was actually going to Darby. But I was looking up some reviews and I was looking at the map. And it looks like there is a trail detour that will take me straight into Wisdom, which would be a day earlier. Fingers crossed. And I read that there's a motel that is really fair price. So fingers crossed. And that's kind of my new plan. Get into Wisdom and hopefully I can get dried out and warm because I feel like I haven't been warm in like three days so we are gonna get packed up and get to moving and uh, see what today has in store guys I wanted to show you what my zipper is doing so sometimes my zipper doesn't always zip and I have to like play with it to get it to zip and sometimes it does it up here so I'm definitely leaking at the zipper Guys, and I also wanted to show you my compression sacks <laughs> that I've been using for my entire hiking journey. I put the bottom piece of my tent in this one, and you can tell it's uh, it's had it. It's like barely, barely hanging on there. And then this one, my top piece goes in, and it's uh, definitely worn out, guys. So, but I am pretty proud and proud of these these suckers. They've held up for a really long time. Oh man, and here comes the fun part. So fun fact, I know most hikers only carry two pairs of socks, but I carry three um, just because I have been in situations where I have been so wet and cold on the East Coast and I just feel like having a dry pair of socks, especially in Florida, is key. So I do carry the extra pair. I wear a Ninjis, the little toe socks. So far, they are my favorite. So I am on my third pair of dry socks right now and we're about to put them in wet shoes. So lovely. Oh, it's like so squishy. Squishy, squishy. Oh, man. All right. Guys, and I just want to say too, most gear only lasts to through hike. So I'm just now having problems with my tent, but I absolutely love Hyperlite and how durable the material is. I'm not crazy about the pole in the middle, um, but that's a different story. I will say my tent has been through some really harsh conditions. It's made it the 2200 miles on the Appalachian Trail. It's made it from Katahdin to the Canada border. It's made it the 350 miles of the Penhody three times. <laughs> along with 72 miles of the Bent Mackay Trail, 220 miles of the Alabama Road Walk, 1,100 miles of the Florida Trail, and the connector from Big Cypress to Key West, Florida. And we are, uh, what, 560 miles on the CDT right now? And it's made it through some backpacking trips in Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Alabama, and Virginia. So my tent has been through about every type of weather condition and terrain and has made... Definitely got its money's worth and it's been through it. So the fact that it's just now giving me issues, I will take it. You know, just some, um, there's still some ice. Wow. All right, so we have had a lot of blowdowns today in this little burn field. All right, guys, so I see a mean cloud up there, kind of like yesterday. 
So I just put on my soaking wet shorts, took off my pants to just try to preserve them as long as I can, just in case. And oh, yeah, hopefully this thing misses me, but looks like I'm about to walk straight towards it. Guys, I really don't understand how one side of the mountain can be so sunshiny and so warm then on the other side of the mountain, you are getting hits like sideways with major hard rain and it is so cold. I just don't get it. I'm like, ah, uh, yeah. All right, guys, I'm just kind of taking my braids out and get my life together. Oh, I'm about to shower and I cannot wait because I smell like wet dog. But after, what, three days of rain and hailstorms and thunderstorms and a wet tent, a wet bag, everything is just so wet and messy. I made it into wisdom. It was definitely a lot of bonus miles that I wasn't expecting. So yeah, I don't even know how many miles I've done today. I'm gonna have to think about it. But I was able to get into the Nest Pierce Motel here in wisdom oh, and it's so cute look how cute it is so far this has been like my favorite spot so I am really excited and I got this nice little workspace so I'm gonna be able to catch up on some content with y'all hopefully and get some get my life together <laughs> I would um, I did stop at this antlers bar and I got a chicken parmesan pizza oh, it was heaven so I'm gonna shower and get my life together and update y'all soon Ah, uh, hello humans. So I'm just enjoying this bed. It's literally the simple things of life. It feels so good. I feel really relaxed. I decided I want to take a zero tomorrow, so I feel even more relaxed. Um, my body's kind of in some pain. I've been like, my feet are pretty, pretty shot. Um, but yeah, I was just sitting here reflecting on my day. And I had a lot of obstacles that happened today. I was in and out of a lot of rain and the terrain, it was really steep. And I ended up hiking a way more miles than I was expecting. And I wasn't sure if I was going to get into town and the room was not unrefundable. But this is just a perfect reminder that things are always working out for us. It may not seem that way at the moment, but there's some obstacle for us to learn and... Things are always working out. You just got to believe in yourself and trust that they will. And I was just kind of thinking of how grateful I am to be here right now. This feels really good. So, like I said, I didn't think I was going to make it. And I thought I would be camping with wet stuff and a room that went to waste. And it did not. So, yeah. Good night, my humans. I had an adventurous day as I took an alternate going into Wisdom, Montana. My map glitched where my 10 miles turned into 16, and I also didn't realize it would connect to an additional 9 miles that then led to a 19-mile highway where I could get into town. I hiked over 30 miles before I got one bar of service before Allison and Justin from the motel arranged to come and save the day. They saved me in a panic as I was wet and food was limited, and I couldn't be more thankful. This little town of Wisdom was so small, remote, and there was no sort of of shuttle service and I feel like this was the perfect example of how God places angels into our life right when we need them the most and how things are always working out for us guys I'm on my way to wash my clothes and they smelled so bad I actually had to sit them outside last night <laughs> the rooms are super cute they got some friendly goats out here and the best part is there's a bathtub like yeah Cute little town of wisdom. Here's where I had pizza last night. I had the chicken parmesan. It was really good. The Antlers Saloon. Yep, this is the town of wisdom. Apparently, this place has good breakfast and coffee, but they're not open on Tuesdays. And the restaurant Fetties. Supposed to be a good diner. They're closed on Tuesdays. Today is Tuesday, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is my little bit of my resupply that I got at Wisdom. They did not have much to choose from at this local book grocery store. Um, I got myself a little stuff for town. Like, I'm going to do a yogurt today to kind of, you know, just it's healthy and good for my system. I'm going to do some beef stew today to try to get in some veggies. This can of beef stew was $3.50, by the way. If you were going to go into Wisdom, I do recommend a box. 
Um, I feel like I would have saved a lot of money if I would have got a resupply box. This was like a hundred bucks and they really didn't have much to choose from. I don't have a lot of nutrition in here. It's honestly kind of junk. Um, but I had to make it work. I tried to get some fruit here, as you can see the price on that. So this was definitely a little expensive. I got a box of Pop-Tarts for like $6. Jerky was like $8. I got a thing of oatmeal for like five bucks. So, oh yeah, and cookies for like $6. So if you were going into wisdom, I definitely recommend a box. Guys, the best zeros is when you get a bubble bath and it's even better when you find Epsom salt. Y'all, Epsom salt literally, y'all, I can't even begin to describe. My body feels so much better when I use Epsom salt. It just helps the joints and the pains, and I just feel like all the hikers' struggles and injuries, and my body just thanks me after I get a good soak. So we're just gonna use this whole bag. <laughs> Here we go. All right, humans. So one of my hiking chores is I actually shower with my Thermarest pad. Um, this just kind of helps it get clean and when I get on the next stretch it just makes me feel a little bit better. You can obviously see there in the middle it's so disgusting. Um, this is after I washed it. Y'all should have seen all the dirt that came out. Um, so yeah this is definitely something I recommend. It just kind of makes you feel a little better and just starts the next stretch off a little good. It doesn't take that long. Just throw it in the shower with you and scrubby dub dub. Hello humans. We are day 29 on the CDT. Oh, I got a zero yesterday in Wisdom, and it was such a cute little town. Uh, my body definitely needed the rest, so it feels good to rest up. I feel more mentally here and ready to go, so sometimes you just need a little break and trust your body. So, yeah, shout out to Allison and Justin at the motel. They were so amazing. The motel was super cute, and Justin gave me a ride back to the trailhead. Um, I jumped back on at Chief... Chief Joseph Trailhead, and we are going to continue walking south. Um, so, yeah, let's get it. Oh, and Fetty's was open this morning, so I got to splurge on a good town breakfast before I came back to Trail. I was hoping to get a French toast, but they were out, so I settled with a gravy biscuit, and it was fantastic with a side of extra crispy bacon and coffee. It's the little things in life. So it feels really good that I got a good breakfast in. I'm a little heavy, I'm resupplied. Um, we'll see how far we get and yeah. It's crazy how things to me work out exactly how they're supposed to. And when you believe and have faith, it's like everything works out. <laughs> and I am feeling extra thankful that I got some sunshine today. Hopefully it stays this way on the mountain. And it uh, looks like we're riding this dirt road for a little bit. Um, have some elevation coming up soon. And yeah, hopefully the sunshine stays. And this is a much better stretch with a uh, higher spirit. Just a opportunity to think my blessings and how things always happen for a reason. And sometimes there's things going on that we can't see. And we just have to trust the process. Ooh, I packed out a carrot cake and it hits the spot right now. Ooh, for the win. Oh, guys, I'm loving the sunshine today. It's actually a little warm, but I am not complaining. I would much rather it be a little warm than freezing like that last stretch. So, have really high hopes about this stretch. And we've been riding this dirt road now for a really long time. And going Sobo, there's a lot of elevation on it. You can't really tell in the video, but yeah, that's pretty... Whew, yeah. Still a beautiful view. You just gotta know where to look. Because it is kind of in a burn field too. But yeah. <laughs> Ooh, so the first water source of the day is a little bit off trail and bushwhacking. I'm hoping it's down there with a the little blue ribbon on the tree. And um, yeah, I'm gonna fill up extra so I don't have to hopefully get off trail again before the next water source. So, yeah. Ah. Ooh, guys, I found the water. That was a heck of a haul and a lot of bushwhacking. So yeah, that was an adventure, but we found water. All right, getting back to trail here. I should have dropped my pack up there. That would have been the smartest thing to do. So I don't have to carry all this resupply and now all this water back up bushwhacking up this mountain. 
<laughs> Lots of miles in the burn field today. Walking out of the burn field and seeing some green. Yeah. Well, the beautiful weather is shifting. I can feel it in the air. Oh man, I hope we don't get more rain. Hopefully it stays over there on that side of the mountain. Oh, but I can feel it. Oh, you totally cannot tell the depth in the videos, but these climbs are strenuous. Oh, it didn't take long to get back into another burn field. I think today is So cool, you can see the trail, it goes all the way. All right guys, it looks like I'm coming up on Big Hole Pass. And I think we're gonna call this home for tonight. This would make it 16 and a half miles. Nothing too crazy, but coming out of town is always a little slower for me. So I think this looks like a good spot over here. And there's supposed to be a pipe spring somewhere around here too. Y'all, I love pies on trail and I have found that JJ's Bakery is the best brand. And then for the, I just tried banana cream for the first time, and it tastes so good. It's so different. So definitely recommend it. Get the JJ's Bakery. Hello, guys. We just set up home for the night at Big Hole Pass. Um, I didn't get in a lot of rain today. It was mainly sprinkles that was off and on, and it was a little chilly. But for the most part, it was sunshine. So fingers crossed it stays that way. Ah, oh, so one of my luxury items is a cork ball. I use this mainly when I get to camp to just kind of roll my feet out. Yeah. So that's where that rock hit me the other day, guys. Like, look at my hairy legs. But yeah, right there. Oh my gosh. It sounds so mean. Y'all, it is rumbling. It just doesn't stop. Oh my goodness. Well, guys, it's officially coming down now. The thunderstorm has rolled in. Every now and then the wind gust is like really strong and my tent will shake. But other than that, it's just a lot of thunder rumbling and a lot of rain. Yep. Today was a music vibe day. I turned on the jams, danced, and focused on one step at a time. The gratitude and beauty swarmed me as I was struggling to carry my pack and make the miles. I did make it 16.9 miles where I set up camp at Big Hole Pass, just in time for another thunderstorm to roll through. I had a huge reality moment and realized how good life gets when you fall more in love with your future than you do your past. That's when you know that you truly are healing and the transition is coming.